Okay, I'm ready to switch back to the measure position. Rub on the plate, and it balanced right up to 100%. Now, if something doesn't balance right away up to 100% or down to zero in the case of a negative tuning, it means that there are deeper issues that you need to look into. There are other intrinsic data field patterns that may be causing this knot to balance to its fullest uh, degree, either 100% for a positive tuning or down to zero on a negative tuning. So I'm going to go down to the next tuning, which is blockages. So negative tuning has a minus in front of it. And this one, I'm getting about 11%. So it's a little bit on the edge. It's getting close to 15. And I think in this case, I'm going to go ahead and, and balance it. So I dial down to zero, and I'm going to switch into balance. And then I'll come back. OK, now I'm ready to switch back into the measure position. Start at zero. And this one balanced right away. It's at 0.2%, which is fine. Now, go ahead and go through the entire chart of uh, your subtle balance program and test every one of the tunings and then when you're finished uh, come back and join me. Now what I've just shown you is how to do a manual analysis and balancing which means manually looking for each tuning that's out of balance and then once we find one that's out of balance we balance it directly right at that moment. Now this is not the normal way of working. Normally we work with the software and we go through and we find the tunings that are out of balance and we put them into a custom program. Now in the SE5 software, as we go through our analysis, we'll measure each one of the tunings and it will automatically copy them into a custom program. When we're finished, we use the software then to sequence the tunings, which means it balances one tuning and then it waits and it balances the next tuning and the next tuning, and the next tuning, until it's finished. Now that's how we normally work. Normally we don't work doing one tuning at a time and then balancing each tuning, but you can also work that way. And I wanted to show you how you can do that with the Subtle Balance program. In the next exercise, I'd like to show you how to do a food compatibility test. We're going to test the IDF patterns of a specific food with the IDF patterns of our subject. In order to do this, you're going to need your input plate. So go ahead and insert your input plate into the SE5. And you'll also need a subject. So go ahead and place your subject inside the cell as well. And we want to go to the biofield program. So go ahead and press enter under biofield program. And up comes the intake clearances. Go ahead and press enter again. And it asks you if you would like to run it automatically or in manual. In this case, we want to go into manual mode. So press the down arrow and it says manual. Press enter again and it loads the first tuning, ADDRMVNOWAM, which is a protection code. Now these intake clearances are similar to the first five initial tests. They're just a little bit more expanded form. So you want to test those first before you work on your subject. So let's start on the Adoradivam protection. We start at 100% and I get 100%, so that's okay. Now if you go to the next one, press your down arrow. Now this one is the same tuning, but it's also measured at 0%. It's also just about 0.6, so we're okay there. I press again and I get energy purity. Now energy purity is the same thing as blockages except in the positive uh, fashion. So you want to test from 100% on energy purity, and if this reads lower than 85%, then you don't want to work on the subject. And then I barely turn my knob and I get a stick at 100%. So I press the down arrow again. Now these are slightly different tunings than in the initial test, but they mean the same thing. So 13-78 interference A, I get 7%. That's good. So I check interference B. 1.2%, interference C, 0.9%, and again, if any of these are over 15%, you'll want to look for a different place to work, a uh, different environment, and perhaps uh, even a different angle or a different direction. Interference D, 
1.3. Now this one, interfering fields, can be balanced if it's out of balance. So let's test it and see if it's over 15%. It's, mine is only 1.6%, so that's not enough to balance. But if yours is even 8 or 9%, you might want to dial down to zero and then switch into the balance mode for 20 or 30 seconds and then check it again. I press the down arrow again and I get barriers to rapport. Now my barriers to rapport with working on my subject are 6.9%. That's not very high, but normally I like to have them really down to zero. So I'm going to switch into the balance mode after dialing down to zero. Okay, I've been balancing for some time now. I would like to switch back to the measure mode by pressing the measure balance button several times until it says measure. And I get 0.3%. Now that's much better. It's not exactly 0%, but it's okay. Press the down arrow again, and I get 9-49 general vitality. Now this is a positive tuning. So this is the tuning that I'm going to be using to test not only his vitality, but also then the compatibility with his vitality with uh, a piece of food. So I'm going to check his overall vitality first. And I get 83%. So now let's try some food. I'll try an apple and we'll put it on the input plate. And I start from 100% again. And I dial down until I get a stick. And it brings it up to 100%. So from these readings, I would suggest that the IDF compatibility between this apple and the IDF patterning of my subject is very good. Now you can try this with many different foods and get an idea of which foods might be compatible with the person's IDF patterns. Next, I'd like to show you how to run an automatic program on one of your subjects. So we've already done the intake clearances We've done the initial tests, and we're ready to do an automatic balancing. So press the down arrow until you get to the biofield program, and then press enter. The first program is the biofield program, and if you press the down arrow, it'll go to the psychological program. And each one of these programs can be run automatically. Cellular program. Let's say we wanted to run the cellular program on our subject. So go ahead and press enter, and it says, auto or manual, and it comes up auto is first, so go ahead and press enter again. The balancing time. Now I like to dial up from zero and ask what's the optimal balancing time for each one of the tunings for this subject. I dial up from zero until I get a stick, and I get 15.7. So I'm going to scroll up, goes up in half second increments, so I can go up to 15.5. Then I press enter. Delay. The delay is how long between each one of the tunings is the SE5 going to wait before it sends the next tuning. In other words, it's going to balance one tuning for a specified period of time. Then it's going to wait, and that's how long the delay is in between each tuning. So I'm going to dial up from zero, and I get six seconds. So I'm going to press the up arrow until I get to six and then press enter. Number of cycles. How many times is the whole program going to balance and then it's going to repeat? So I get 2.8, which is about three times. So now I'm ready to start balancing the program. So I'm going to dial up to 100% because this is a positive program. I'm going to switch into the balance mode by pressing balance. So now I press enter and the program begins to start running. It balances the first tuning for uh, our time period and then it changes to the next one. 